Welcome everybody to this edition of Attention Talk Video. I'm your host, ADHD and Attention Coach, Jeff Copper. And uh, in this video, I just wanna talk about a simple concept and that is a thought is not a plan. Many people with ADHD will have a thought like I need to go do something, but it's really not a plan. A plan is a sequence of steps um, that one would go through in order to execute, um, to get to an outcome. And I find that uh, those with ADHD, they struggle with uh, working memory and it's difficult for they have a thought of something that they want to do but the sequential steps that they need to make it happen are not something that they can hold in their head so often um, they get stuck because they have an idea in their mind that they think is a plan they don't have the steps uh, worked out and they actually haven't really addressed them whereas if you actually begin to write the steps down or talk to somebody about the sequential process that you're going to go through then often you can find a way to get to uh, execute that uh, real life solution I was coaching a guy one time who wanted to send Christmas cards out and that was his plan and I said wow that's kind of interesting that's a what is that your plan he said yeah I said well how does it go and he goes what do you mean I go well where do you get the cards? And he thought for a second, I get them at the store. Really? What store? Um, as he began the process, he was thinking, he said, oh, well, I get them at um, the drugstore down the, down the street. Okay, well, that's great. <clears throat> what about your database? Like the email, I mean, the uh, addresses that you have to get. And he began to think that he's got some in an Excel sheet and some in an address book that he doesn't know where the address book is. And we began to talk about that. And as we began to talk about it, we began to realize is that uh, he wasn't really clear on where these things were. And so, in fact, the address book, he needed to enlist, um, I guess, his significant other in order to help him uh, actually kind of find this. Then I said, where are the stamps? And he didn't have any stamps at that point in time, which meant that he needed to go to the post office, which was the opposite direction that he always went. So we began to talk about when he would actually go get the stamps because it wasn't on the way to anything. And as we got through this stuff, we began to realize is that he thought that he should send Christmas cards out, but those people with those with ADHD struggle with ambiguity. <clears throat> if you don't know where the address book is, um, if you haven't really thought through where you're going to get the Christmas cards, anything that's better repetitive and boring, like going to the post office, which is out of your way, is another impediment. So as we began to talk our way through the thought, we actually ended up with a plan. My point in all this is, is often those with ADHD, they come up with a thought and they think that that's a plan. Whereas I find that often they do better if somebody actually asks them the step-by-step -step questions and they begin to write that thing down so that it becomes tangible and address the difficult issues like going to get the stamps. When are you gonna be driving in the opposite direction because it was 15 minutes to get there and 15 minutes to get back, that's 30 minutes from his day that, that most people wouldn't go to, uh, take a break and go do because so much of everything else crowds their day out. Once we identify that, we determined that it was best for him to do it on a Saturday morning or something, which is outside of his routine. So anyway, the concept really here is a thought is not a plan. If you have a thought, often it's good to sit down with somebody and actually think through everything you've got to do and address the obstacles. Uh, we hope you've, this has given you pause to ponder a little bit. It might seem a little obvious, but I have to tell you in coaching those with ADHD, often they have a thought and they really don't have a plan, and the idea is to work their way through it, and sometimes it's best done if somebody's just asking you the questions to walk you through it. I hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and please comment. Always welcome comments, um, good and bad, on our videos, because that's how we come up with other ideas and make it better. Uh, if you wanna learn more about me, go to digcoaching.com. With that, we hope you've gained some insight. Take care.